pleasant day to you, my dear friends. Since April, we have been reflecting on the Holy Mass. We said that the Mass is composed of two main parts, the Liturgy of the Word, where the Word of God is proclaimed to us, and the Liturgy of the Eucharist, where the Body and Blood of Christ are given to us as spiritual food and drink. The Mass begins with the introductory rites, where we invoke and welcome the presence of the Lord in our midst. With the same reverence, the Mass ends with the concluding rites where the grace we received in the Mass is sealed with the priest's blessing and we are sent on mission. This is the focus of our review today. So come, join us. Let us enrich our knowledge of the Holy Mass, the source and summit of Christian life. The concluding rites consists in the greeting that once again affirms the presence of the Lord in the celebration, the blessing, which on certain days and occasions is expanded with the solemn blessing or prayer over the people, and the dismissal, where the assembly is sent forth to bring the good news to others, just like the first disciples. Important announcements may precede the concluding rites, and the proper time for it is after the post-communion prayer. During the concluding rites, the assembly will hear once again the greeting, The Lord be with you, that reaffirms the presence of the Lord in the celebration. To it, the assembly will respond, and with your spirit, that reciprocates the grace to the priest. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. In the opening ceremony of the Mass, the priest invokes the Blessed Trinity as he and the assembly mark themselves with the sign of the cross. It is in the presence of the Blessed Trinity that we recall in the Eucharistic banquet the grand drama of Christ's death on the cross. In the concluding rites of the Mass, the priest once again calls on the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to bless the assembly with their presence, to accompany the assembly in their journey, and to keep them focused on things that last forever. The assembly then receives the priestly blessing by the sign of the cross. We mark ourselves with the sign of the cross as we receive the blessing. We carry the saving cross through the roads of the world. It is our security and protection, and our guide as we march through life's uncertainties. It is a constant reminder that our lives should be patterned after the great sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, that we should be of service to others. In the custom of the Romans, their assemblies end with words such as Ite Misa Est, which means, Go, this is the dismissal, or Go, the assembly is sent. In its practicality, the Romans simply use these words to end their assembly. Misa is derived from mitere, which means to send. In effect, it has an interpretation of mission sending. Go forth, the Mass is ended. The dismissal challenges us to go forth and become missionaries too. Each of us is sent back to the world to do good works, praising and blessing God. Although Sunday should be spent with the family, especially at the meal and recreation, parish workers and volunteers set aside part of the day to serve the community. We have liturgical ministers serving at Mass, doctors, medical workers, and social workers offering their service for the poor, teachers and catechists teaching Sunday School. Mayo kayong taglay ang kapayapaan upang ang Panginoon at ating kapwa ay mahalin at paglingkuran. As regards to this, our local church gives us an apt exhortation. Service should complement worship in sanctifying Sunday as the Lord's Day. Sunday Eucharist is incomplete unless it overflows into mission through community service. 
The entire celebration of the Holy Mass overflows with gentle reminders about the mission of the Church and each of us as her members. The Liturgy of the Word prompts us to bring the good news to our home and community in word and in action. The general intercessions invite us to pray for the world, for our nation, our loved ones, and even those who are against us. The offering of the gifts urges us to be compassionate and generous toward the needy. The Eucharistic Communion instills in us our duty to love God and serve our neighbors as Christ did, reminding us that we cannot merely receive, we must also give. Ite Misa Est is not only confined to Sunday. It should and must resound in our lives daily. Each time we lend our hands to our neighbors, especially the needy, we proclaim the gospel to the world. When we leave our house of worship, we bear the name of the Blessed Trinity. It is a reminder that our life should be living proof that the Father loves us, that through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, we have been endowed with graces, and that the Holy Spirit looks after us like a mother to her child. My friends, the Ite Missa Est extends the saving fruits of the Mass to our daily experience as Christians. Our celebration of the Eucharist ends with a dismissal. It signals that the celebration is finished and that we have a mission to fulfill. And so we are reminding you, my brothers and sisters, to wait to be dismissed by the priest before we leave. The Mass to its very end is holy and must be regarded with utmost respect and courtesy. Join us again next Sunday, my dear friends. Till our next meeting, may the good Lord bless us all.